Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Photo and using the Equations filter and using shapes. Shapes can be used with the Equations filter to create all kinds of wonderful designs. So I'm just going to quickly show you how you can go from a very basic circle and from using an equation that I created a few hours ago. You can see the video if you want to just check. It's the last video I've just created and you can use that and create some interesting designs with it. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to go back to the start point and this time it is a very basic circle it could be any shape of course got loads of shapes over here over here and I'm going to go with ellipse but it doesn't have to be ellipse but you could go with ellipse or rectangle square star so that design and you can of course color it in numerous ways I'm just going to go with white initially so with this design what I can do I can go to filters and then go down to distort and equations. Now I'm going to use exactly the same formula I used earlier. So I'm just going to quickly go to my notes where I've got always store all the various things. So there's the formula. And it's like 1000 times <laughs> all those sorts of things. But like I say, please check out the earlier video so you can see that. And I also will zoom in so you can actually see it a little bit later. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to enter that into the X field and I'm going to enter it into the Y field. So it basically uses a an oscillator and I can even say that word oscillator and it's a sign as well so you've got a really interesting sort of com and it's a function it doesn't really seem to be much information about all the various functions and this one OSC sin I must be I didn't think I could even use it in this equations but it does work so I'm just gonna quickly show you what you can do you see there's nothing on the screen at all now completely gone which is not much use I guess but what you can do you can go to mirror Still nothing. That's the extend mode down there. Now I've got Cartesian there. I've got radians there. What you can then do is change the A. And again, not much still. B, not very much. But then C. And you can see that eventually a combination will actually work. Now you may have to vary some of these settings up here. So there's something you've got a thousand. What you can do, you can always overwrite this you don't it's not cast in stone so you can put like 3000 and you can see you get a design there or maybe 500 if you want a slightly different design just a variety of different settings simply just change them now I'm going to go for maybe 5000 and you can see a different design from there and again you can do the same for the Y so say 4000 and then you can vary that and you can see the result there and you can see you can create a variety of different designs on top obviously of this it's a layer it's a just a normal layer and you can just vary these and just experiment and you can move it around as well because it's got rx and ry in it they're relative x it's coordinate system instead of using x and y use rx and ry and you can vary this as well if you want to just go over here i've got a thousand there i can turn around and say you know what i don't want a thousand i want two thousand and you can see you can create even slightly different more sort of alien language design there and maybe go for 4,000 there and so and so on so you can vary it as well now unfortunately because it doesn't have presets no presets on there really quite it's a pity however the best way around that is to store this in a macro so if you go to view studio and macro you could store it just obviously record it before you start you've got your equation and just record that and then you can apply it at any time simply just by the macro and you can add it to a library and just apply it very quickly so let's just apply that now and you've got this design now it doesn't seem very much at this point however what you can do it's a layer it's just, just a standard layer and if I go to view studio and layers you can see it's a layer on top of this background and I can get rid of the background you can hardly see that one of course but what you can do with that layer selected you can go over here to effects also you can go down the bottom if you want as well there's FX down there but what you can do you can go maybe for outline or maybe go for uh, let's go for most obvious one bevel and boss so you can just see you can just simply create and it's got a nice beautiful design which you can of course you can still modify this design so you can still move that around And also you can still modify this even further you can just go over here you can see a little gear there or settings click there 
And then what you can do, you can just change this. You can do soften, and you can also change profile. Maybe go for that sort of profile, or that one. And you can see you can vary it that way. You've got a nice chisel effect there. And also you can change the radius. And again, you can still vary this design. But also what you can do, you've got other ones, you've got screen, you can move this around, you can see you can vary that. You can also modify it, soften there, and so on, so on. Also, you've got gradient overlay, add that into the equation as well, not the equation. And once you're happy with that design, you can close it. And of course, what you've got, you've got a layer. Well, a layer, you can just simply go and copy by holding down the Alt or Option key, and you've got two and then maybe do it again. So you can real build up a very complex design. Now I'm not going to do that, but I just want to show you, you can do that. But I can also go back to this design. So just go back to the actual, that's just a good point. What you can do, you can apply filters to it. So you decide to, let's go to filters, distort and deform. Simply go over here, and I'm going to use similarity. And add some pins to this design. It's just a standard layer and I can distort this layer. And you can see you can then create all kinds of really weird and wonderful designs, distortions that way. So it there and click apply. And of course what you can do, you can always do filters, apply again, apply again, and so on and so on. So you can create some really wonderful designs simply just by using, I'm just undoing it at this point, going back to that shape there. Now what I can do, I can just, let's go for another shape. So. I mean, you can also create a shape, of course. You can go to the pen tool, make your own shape. But say star tool, let's just select a star. And there's the star. And with that, what you can do, you can, of course, change the number of points. So let's make it more intense. And then what I can do, maybe you can change the color, apply effects to it. So let's just make it nice and bright like that. And also, before you do anything with it, you can go filter, maybe go to add noise. So you can just add some very quick noise to it. Apply, apply a couple of times. And you can see the design there. And then of course what you can do, you can go back to the equations again. So filters and distort and equations. However, unfortunately it doesn't remember the thing. So that's why useful to have a notepad or text pad or whatever, what, something, just write it down. You can also just go back to the notes. Notes is handy. So you just quickly control C go over here again and then paste it back in. Control B and or command, depending on, obviously on a Mac, you've got that, I would say control still. I know it's ridiculous, but it's actually the command on the Mac. And then you can go over here again to mirror and also you can change the parameters. And again, you can see the result there. You can see different designs can be created very quick and easy. And of course, again, you can always go over here and say 3000. 5,000. If you think that's a better design, you can then vary that and change that. And then sometimes it just completely vanishes and you can still move that around. And you can also vary in here as well. So again, go to 2,000 there or 2,000 or 500. It doesn't matter. You just keep trying it until you get a design that you think, wow, that's what I want. And again, of course, you can, before you even do that, you can go in here and you can go to, say, filters, distort and deform. You can deform this design. So you just deform it before you start even. So you can create a design like that. Now you can see, distort it in thousands of different ways. With that design, you can use that. Go to filters and again, distort and equations. And of course, again, there's nothing in it. Unfortunately, it doesn't store it. It'd be really nice if it did. But you can go back here very quickly and drop C. Command C, <laughs> still do that. That shows you I worked on Windows before I went onto a Mac. And I still call it that. Sorry for confusion and that sort of thing. And then mirror again, and again you can go over here and you can then tweak these settings and there you can bring it back in again and you can see the effect there. And you can vary these settings again. And again, once you've done that, click apply and you've got your lovely dots here, just basic layer. And again, you can always go back over here to effects, which you can find in view and studio and effects. And then you just simply go over to here and maybe go for Gaussian blur. You can blur them. Change the 
the radius. I'm not going to do that, but you could do that if you wanted to. Or you can go over to Bevan Boss, click there again, and you can see the design there. And you can vary that. And you can see you've got this lovely design here. And again, you can always hold down the Alter Option key or use a duplicate. There's the duplicate man there, layer. And you can move that over there. And you can see you can create all kinds or Alter Option key and drag there and duplicate that. Of course, unfortunately, because it's gone over the edge, you can see a problem there. But just put it down to there. And you can probably cover them up with a bit of, just put that up there. And so on, so on. Maybe stretch it if it's just slightly annoying, just seeing that thing. You can vary that bit. And you can move that away. And you can, if you've got some that's slightly wrong, ah, you can always drag them slightly like that. And another one. And you can, of course, rotate it and do many other things. But you can see the design you can get there. And of course, once you've done all that, you can always, of course, go to the top. You can flatten it, apply adjustments. So you can always go to the layer and merge visible. The whole thing merged into one. Of course, it puts it down there, which I don't want. I want it just up there. And then you've got your layer and you can manipulate that further. If you want to work with that, you can always then go to filters and distort, deform, or maybe use that as a layer as well and continue with that effect. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time. Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, Illustrator, and many others. Also, if you've got any questions, comments, please let me know. It's always uh, great to hear. Maybe I've done something wrong. I try in the video editing to put, so you can see the thing. But there's also, like I said, the earlier video showing how to do this. It's a ripple grid effect. So if you want to check that out, that's always great as well. And also uh, a dislike or like. Thank you much.